President Trump kicks out and sends a direct message to the Koch brothers. Hello everyone, Jan here, Golden State Times, and today we have a news story. This one comes courtesy of Breitbart.com, and it says, President-elect Donald Trump told a critical biographer and guest of billionaire David Koch to leave his West Palm Beach golf course on New Year's Eve, forcing Koch to leave with him. Trump's gesture was another slight against the pro-amnesty, pro-free trade billionaire brothers Charles and David Koch, who opposed Trump during the Republican primary and refused to help him during the general election. It also signals Trump will not necessarily play nice with the GOP political establishment and Beltway right. The Koch swoop in during the Tea Party revolt in 2010, training amateur political activists and trying to channel populist energy against the Obama administration into supporting the Progressive Business Alliance that wanted more cheap labor and lesser sentences for drug traffickers under the umbrella term, smaller government. It goes on to say that the Kochs wanted candidates amenable to their will, and Trump didn't fit the bill. They considered him a distraction before he rocketed to first in the polls and even toyed with the idea of spending millions of dollars to attack him. Trump's mocking of the Kochs while on the campaign trail, calling their preferred candidates puppets, enacting their donors' agenda. So these are tweets that President Trump put out since the beginning of his campaign uh, against the Koch brothers. And one of them says, I really like the Koch brothers, members of my PB club, but I don't want their money or anything else from them. Cannot influence Trump. The other one says, I wish good luck to all of the Republican candidates that traveled to California to beg for money from the Koch brothers. And he said, puppets. Um, while I hear the Koch brothers are in big financial trouble with oil, word is that they have chosen little Marco Rubio, the lightweight from Florida. Uh, it says little Marco Rubio, the lightweight no-show senator from Florida, is set to be the puppet of the special interest Koch brothers. Um, and then the last one says, I turned down a meeting with Charles and David Koch. Much better for them to meet with the puppets of politics. They will do much better. So as you can see, Trump isn't a puppet for anyone. He is keeping his promises so far and isn't afraid of anyone in the political establishment. He is a fighter and a boss and will not allow anyone to disrespect him or the American people with their money in exchange for influence. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. We love reading all your comments and suggestions. Give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Also, check out our previous videos. They should be coming up on the right side of your screen. Click on them. They're interactive. They'll take you to the video you might want to watch. Give them a thumbs up and share it while you're over there. Check out the links in the description below. If you are new to our community, we encourage you to subscribe by clicking the red button below the video or the golden globe that should be coming up on your screen. We welcome you. Hope to see you guys here next time. But until then, peace.